All right, our next goal is to get these old races out. The problem that we have, it doesn't always work, is so here's, here's how you would test to see if it's gonna work, is I just go backwards here and I try and pop this up. And the problem that we have here, the inside diameter of that steering stem won't let the fingers flex out. I wanna talk about uh, thinking about working safe in our area, obviously we're gonna clean it up and make sure there's nothing uh, flammable or whatnot, but there's a big controversy about what I'm gonna talk about next. And that is, if I'm welding on the motorcycle, so I'm sending electric current through the motorcycle, I think it's absolutely a fantastic idea to disconnect the battery and also disconnect the ECU or ECM or anything. If you're gonna be putting any power through there, it's just a really good idea because it's only a couple of connectors to go ahead and just disconnect it. Does that make sense? Yep. I know, I've known tons of people that have welded on a frame and not had any issues. It's just those rare stories you hear where somebody welded on something and that current, because we're sticking the ground clamp on here, did something it didn't like. I'd rather just remove the risk altogether. Does that make sense? Right. All right, my next decision I gotta decide is do I want to weld a washer to it or do I want to just try and run beads around it? A lot of times just running the bead will crunch up that race and it'll actually just want to fall out. So I'm going to go that route first versus trying to have to mess around with it. So find me a good ground. Clear. The one thing you don't want to do is weld the race to the frame. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. That would suck. I grab that long punch. It took next to nothing only because of we welded it. You can see that little hook that's been ground into this. Sometimes that's enough to get around this thinner part of the neck and basically hook it over. The clearance that you need to kiss that and then go back and forth and back and forth. But this is the way that I found a lot of luck. You know, just a little bit of weld on there. You made a comment uh, that's just absolutely worth noting by one of the students here is, hey, isn't welding on that possibly gonna affect the paint? Yeah, that's definitely a risk that you're gonna take. Another thing that, I'm not welding the frame though, but it's still ambient heat around there. Another thing you can do is just have a quenched rag ready and be cooling that right away from the outside to try and help with that too. But now we go ahead and we're gonna clean this up. And now I'm gonna show you another tool of how to install them. Head on over to our suspensions playlist to see how to use this part tool for installation.